Hi there, we are going to look at arithmetic progression and uh, remember questions such as uh, find the next term in the series and then they say the next two terms find the find the next term in the series the next terms I remember such questions find the next terms in the series so you have you have 2 you have 6 you have 10 we want the next terms and so we say we're using, you know, uh, during grade 7 work, you know, remember? Special paper 1. We're just looking for the common difference. So like in this case here, there's a common difference of 4. A common difference of 4, definitely, there will be a, a common difference of 4. And so we we'll say 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 plus 4, 10. 10 plus uh, 4... 14. 14 plus 4, you have your 18. But in this case, we've come up with a formula to say the term you want, the term that you want, we'll call it T. The term that you want, if it's term, first number A plus the number you want, take away 1, multiply by the common difference. Okay? So we'll say if our a is our first number, look at the first number there is two. The term that I want, if this is term number one, term number two, term number three, this would be term number four, and therefore five. So I want first of all term number four. I'll say t of four. First number plus. The term that I want is 4. Take away 1, multiply by the common difference. There is this common difference of 4. Okay. And so, I'll say the term that I want, term number 4, will equal to 2 plus, okay. 4 take away 1 is 3. And that will multiply our four outside there okay remember your boardmans so we'll start first of all by multiplying three times uh, four is twelve that's when we can add they are for term number four term number four is equal to fourteen so this formula gives us the term that we want in an arithmetic progression so this time if we want term number five we'll just say the term that I want I'll add the first number plus the difference there the common difference and then I'll say if I want term number five I'll say first number remember first number is two and so I'll say two plus if the term is five n n then you say n is 5 okay the common difference is 4 and so say the term that i want if it's the fifth term therefore here i'll have 4 multiplying another 4 therefore the term number 5 that i want i'll wait for the multiplication is uh, here that's when i'll add my two therefore term number five is equal to 18 so here we know that term number four one term number one term number two term number three term number four it's uh, 14 term number five one two three four five therefore t of five is uh, 18 
so we'll be sorting out such questions as finding the term that you want we can even find term number maybe the 50th term we'll just say t of 50 then it will also appear there as your number 50 take away one you add your first number that is after you've multiplied with a common difference okay let's look at another question okay find the next term find the next term in the sequence so if we have uh, we have five we have nine okay we can say we have 13 them okay Okay, five. Okay, and then they say find the next term or the next two terms in the sequence. Well, first of all, know that for as long as you have a common difference here, this is term number one, term number two, term number three. Therefore, we want term number four, term number five. They, they can even ask us to find term number maybe 15th term okay we'll use the uh, arithmetic progression term formula and so initially we used to solve this in grade 7 and say which one comes next in the series we could just get the difference 9 take away 5 is 4 13 take away take away 9 again it's 4 meaning there was a common difference no wonder we call, call it the common difference. Okay, as our D. And then the first term, which is our 5, the no first number, the T of 1. Okay, the first term is always our A. And so, looking at the number that we want, we can get the term that we want. Let's say we want the fourth term. We want the fifth term. Let's get the fourth term. We'll say the term that I want. I'll add first of all the first number to the number take away one multiplied by the common difference as the formula for the nth term of an arithmetic progression. We can call it AP. And so the term that I want is term number four. So I'll say term number four we equal to first number five and then add it to the term the number of terms that i want take away one multiply by the common difference this is a common difference of four therefore i'll say term number four is therefore equal to five plus here we we'll have four take away one or oh, three multiply by four so multiplication comes first that's when we can add that becomes term number number four therefore our term becomes 17 okay so it's a matter of substituting once you know the common difference you know the first number then you want the term that you want the n will appear also there as the n the number that you want a is the first term and so we'll know that here our num fourth, ter fourth term is 17. Therefore, we'll have 17 here. If we want the fifth term, we'll say instead of adding a 4 so we can get uh, a 21, we'll say we have a formula here. Let's use the formula because uh, it's all about showing your working. And so we'll say the term that I want is term number five. And so I'll say term number five, add the first number to the to the difference, okay? Which is uh, term number five, first number is five, n, n of five, n will be 5 take away 1 
multiply by the common difference 9 take away 5 13 take away 4 17 take away 13 should be common difference of 4 okay so the difference can change depending on the question that is being asked and so the fifth term will therefore equal to 5 plus here already you have your 4 multiplying the common difference of 4 therefore you start by first of all multiplying 4 times 4 that's when you can add your 5 okay you have your 21 and so there's nothing like guesswork everything is coming by way of formula okay so even if you wanted the hundredth term the 70th term the term that is way ahead of time usually we use this topic when we talk about um, you know business the accounts so or when you get a loan and then they want to know the number of months that you pay you settle the same loan like here term of 15 we can say t of 15 term of 15 will equal to first number added to the term take away one multiply by the difference so term 15 will therefore equal to first term is 5 added to meaning n is 5 take away 1 multiply by the common difference of 4 therefore t of 15 will mean 5 plus here we have a 4 multiply common difference of 4 4 times 4 will be 16 that's when we'll add to in fact this is 15 it's supposed to be 15 as our term term of 15 it will be term of 15 okay so here is supposed to be 14 we repeated what we were doing the other time okay sorry and so n will also be n there n n as your number of term so 14 and so you say 4 times 4 is 16 there will be a 1 there 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1 5 that's when you can add to your term and this will mean your 15th term will equal to you have your 61 okay so you can get any term that you want we can we can use this in accounts or in uh, business when you say a is the first amount that you got or the principal and then you can count calculate the number of installments or you divide the a's the terms into number of payments and so work out the term according to the number of payments that one will make according to the number of months or weeks okay so we can even know term of 15 even here to be 15 and then this is our first term was our a so 5 plus 15 take away 1 okay we have your 14 multiply by 4 you start by way first of all multiplying that's when you can add so 14 times 4 56 that's when you can add your 5 so the 15th term is 61 okay so now we can we can find now the sum of terms that are given okay suppose you have your 2 4 6 8 and then they say the first two terms okay you've seen for the number of terms now I'm sure you are aware that we just say the first term the second term the third the fourth and then the term you want you call it maybe this is it the fifth the sixth so one two three four we want the fifth term and the sixth term and then there will come a time when you'll be adding summing up the number of terms that you want okay so instead of say we can say i can i want the sum of one two three four 
the sum of four terms. But in mathematical terms, it's more like saying you are adding term number one, term number two, okay? This is term, term number one, term number two, term number three, term number four. It's the same as adding that. Now, there will be a lot of terms, maybe hundredth term. How do you add them? So instead of adding the conventional way, there will always be a formula. So the first term, second, third, fourth. Sum of, sum of four terms, the same as adding the arithmetic series. Okay. You can say two plus uh, four, six. Plus another six, you have your 12. Plus your eight, you have your 20. Okay, as easy as that. Now there will come a time when you have a lot of terms, maybe the hundredth term, you want the sum. You can't be adding them like this. And, and so this brings us to the formula now for the number of terms that you want. Okay? First number is always denoted by letter A. So this now becomes the sum of the terms. We're just saying sum of the terms. Is it 100th term? That will be our N. Okay? Like in this case, you've seen, we've found 20, the conventional way. But using this, by way of working, using the formula of the arithmetic progression, we'll say the terms that we wanted are only four. One, two, three, four. And then the sum. Using this formula, using this formula, we'll say sum of four terms, only four terms, is equal to, so where there is n, we've put four. Here, we also have four. According to the formula, the first number is two. It is denoted by letter A. And so already there is a two here. So we'll say two multiplied by two. And then you add to the number. The number is the fourth sum of four. So n, n, n will be the same. Okay? So even here we have four. Take away one. And then what's the common difference? Second term, take away first is two. Third term, take away, take away second. You say six, take away four is two. Four, take away two is two. 8 take away 6 is 2. So there is a common difference. We call it the common D of 2. That's when we can close. And so say the sum of 4 terms. 2 into 4, you have your 2. 2 times uh, 2 times 2 is 4. Plus, you have your 3 multiplying 2. Okay, you close. And so, start by way of multiplying. Three times uh, two, you have your six. Added to your four. That's when you can multiply by two as your sum of four. Okay, and so, four plus six is your turn. And then multiply by the 2 which is outside. The sum of 4 terms is actually 20. Okay. So the sum of 4 terms will be 20, which is the same as the conventional method we used here of adding up all the terms. But you cannot always do this because the num numbers are different. They can give you very very big figures and so the easiest or they would just say add up all these terms up to term number 100 so you just say sum of 100 is equal to 100 over 2 plus 2 times the first number plus 100 take away 1 multiplied by the common difference until you get the sum of the terms that you want like in this case we only added four terms it gave us 20 it's the same as using the conventional way giving you 20. okay there are a lot of questions. So in mon monetary terms, 
when you are talking about uh, money, accounts, you know, your commerce or your business, administration, statistics, they will be using this topic to sort out all these terms. Because they can say, in the first week, the first week, or we can call it week one, first week, there was second week, there was third week. Someone was being paid maybe 10 kwacha for week one. Uh, another 10 kwacha plus that for week two. 30 kwacha for week three, you see. And then they can say, find the sum. Find the sum of uh, the, or the total amount of money that that person was, uh, that uh, that person made for the three weeks. So week one, week two, week three, we'll be using the sum of arithmetic progression. If they want uh, the amount for maybe the sixth week, sixth week, we'll just say week six. We'll call it term number six. And then we'll say term six. We we'll use the nth term formula. Okay, it will say we want the amount for week six. And so we just say term of six. Term of six. Okay, will be first amount for the week one will be A as our first term. Ten culture plus week take away one. Number of weeks and take away one. Multiply by what's the difference? Week two, take away week one, you have ten. Week three, take away week two, the common difference is, is ten. And so D as our common difference will be that. And so say this being equal to week six as our term will be the, will be that. Five multiplying ten. And so that will mean 50. That's when we can add our 10 to get term number 6 for representing week 6. Okay. So week 6, this person had, in terms of money, 60 representing week, week 6. Okay. So it can come in so many forms. In monetary form, you can use that. 60 so w of 6 60 w of 2 30 w of 2 20 w of 1 meaning week 1 they can even tell us the amount for week yeah? week maybe week 30 someone that can make you know and so for the sum of the money accumulated for a period of time we can use the arithmetic progression that's the importance of this subject and so in the next video We'll continue with now the geometric progression. This was the AP, commonly known as AP of a series. Okay, have a nice day. This has been Henry Banda. Thank you very much.